How's it going YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be doing a very unique build and kind of abusing the brand new broken item, Echoes. Echo is a brand new support item. Whenever you heal or heal an ally after doing damage, it increases that healing and also helps you do more damage, if I believe that's correct. But you may be like, well, you don't heal or shield. Well, there's kind of a trick around this. The trick around this, if you go fawn to life, that counts as healing a target, so you can proc your healing through that. Not oh, missed up you. Whoa. But we are playing support. I know it's been a little, little while since we played it, so it should be a lot of fun. Um, as you can see in our build, we are running Comet with Scorch, Font of Life, and Bone Plating. So we should be like relatively like tanky per se. I'm gonna go Q. As you can see, oh, she actually caught that. Nice, she's getting the healing. Pagu. But of course, with that slow, you can see the Font of Life proc. Can't really heal it for anything right there, but it'll be fine. We're just gonna poke down the Zare. We still have a lot of early game damage with the Comet. Nice. I think it has to be an auto attack to actually proc the... Nothing I can do. Really kind of cheesy early game gang. It is what it is, so. I'm gonna cancel the recall. Kind of ruin his clear. Make sure he's delayed. Dodge the thing. Again, make him delayed. Hopefully we can punish the blue. Doesn't look like it, sadly. But we did what we could. I don't think it's kind of just like more CS for me at this point. I'm just gonna help push this in. You wanna punish them since they took a reset. Come on, rock it the back wave. Rock it the back wave. Good little jinx. That should crash. I think what I'm gonna do is probably just reset. Get an amp tome. Yeah, we're gonna amp tome. A lot of like mana regen in this build. Kind of nice. We won't have a lot of mana, but we'll have a crap ton of regen. And we don't need pink wards. Pink wards are overrated. Mm. Probably should have pinged that he was topside. It's kind of like really unfortunate that they didn't expect that. He still hasn't done his blue buff. Oh my god, Jinx is pushing up here herself. A little, uh, a little ambitious. I don't know if that's confidence or, uh, stupidity. Oh, I'll attack this. There we go. Okay, yeah, so it procs an auto attack, it's not her abilities. So that's exactly how we're going to proc the echoes every single time. So we may lack in a little bit of the damage department. I think our second item is either going to be Crystal Scepter if we want every ability to slow or just go Mandate for bonus damage for our AD carry. Nice damage right there. We should probably ward try or just chill. Be behind a little bit in CS, not too bad. Since we saw Echo topside, he's probably... His camp's bot side should be back up by now. Just trying to like... Still push the wave. Okay. We see Echo in the mid lane right now, so not really too much at risk. Dodge this. They're close. Honestly, that W hit, we might have been able to kill. Echo should be bot side by right now. Oh, there he is. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this.
Nice, got that proc. Try not to give the reset. Oh, put extra point in W by accident. Nice, got that one too. Oh, missed it. I mean, Evelyn dies, but it doesn't really matter. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna go casually push this out. Pretend that she's not here. I think what we're gonna do is get this one turret plate. Like, they don't have ultis or anything. Oh my god, I do so much damage. Get this last turret plate. Turret plate! Oh shit. Oh my god, and a flash. Oh, she got executed. Pretty good. I want that turret plate. If she just autoed it, we would have got it. Whatever. It is what it is. Uh, we're gonna ping for it, get a potion. The one thing, since we're not running first strike, the only income we're gonna get is from our support item and kills. So, what I'm trying to insinuate right now is steal everything and take all the kills. I'm actually so curious of how much healing and damage is actually going to give. So let's read this. Damaging a champion grants a soul shard up to a maximum of 2. Healing or shielding allies uh, consumes a soul, soul shard, healing between 20 to 100, and deals 30 to 200 magic damage per shard. So they get bonus on hit damage. That's really unfortunate. Oh my god, do you not know that SR? Just wait for the charm. Nice. Well played. I should have my item. Nice. We have the item already. And then we can work towards Imperial Manage. She's saying a mini, so she's got to be a little bit careful. Easy peasy. Uh, do we know where Zed is? Alright, I'm gonna actually go learn from last time to run. Pretty sure he's coming. I don't know if he just went top or something. Alright, we're good. Kind of ravenous. I have all the kills, which isn't the best thing, but it's definitely fun, so. Alright, let's see if we can make this work. Uh... I'm gonna wait the 30 gold for my magic pen boots. Like I said, we're probably gonna go Imperial Mandate since it's not longer a mythic anymore. I think we're gonna go Mandate. I think Mandate is so much more fun. Crystal Scepter. Crystal Scepter would be really nice because then, like, of course, we can proc Fanta Life on our Q and R's. But I think Imperial Mandate is just gonna give us so much more damage. Oh, should I swap the scanner? Whoops. Going toward this. Looks like she warded at Dragon. Echo's top. We can kill Zed here. Oh my god. Let's pretend how I didn't miss everything. I should have walked up close. I just didn't want him ulting me to get away. But it kind of worked out. Our top lane's kind of having a really rough time. Nice damage. It does. It only gets 30 AP. Not that much. A lot of mana regen. Good health, good cooldown reduction. 15, it's pretty good. 
We definitely have our two echoes. We just need her to proc it off the slow. Or it's done. Need to be a little bit more aggressive. Oh, she's so fast, she already went up. Alright, how much healing we get? Total healing done, 145. That damage. Total magic damage, 231. That's kind of insane. We are a healing Zerath at this point. Uh, is it still showing? I still have a ward right there. I do not worry about an echo. Maybe jump around the wall over here? Oh, nope. Let know that we're on our way. Zed is coming too. Nice, we got the healing. We have a huge healing burst. Do you see that? Holy, that healing was insane. More healing, nice. Oh, nice. Actually, take some CS. Accidentally, of course. But, dude, that healing's insane. Like, we're at Zerath. We almost healed 500 already. I am Soraka Zerath. That's what I am. How much more for Mandate? I need, like, 300 more gold. Alright, let's swap to Scanner and get it. So Fanta Life has healed 236 also. Holy. That's crazy. So what? We've just healed like 700 health already at 13 minutes. And we don't even have healed. Where is Zerath? Pure Gloss Cannon. Can you turn that? Oh, close. Close, close. Nice. What's more? Oh, we have Imperial Mandate. Nice. Nice. Let that go. Yeah, Imperial Mandate. Third item's definitely gonna be Crystal Scepter. Because with Crystal Scepter, we can guarantee proc on Imperial Mandate and our Echoes. Not Echoes, uh, Fanta Life. We should be careful by ourselves. She should not be bought. On my way, got the Imperial Mandate. But not bad. I saw him too. Okay. Nice. Careful of stun. Wow, we're just living in their jungle. They are just gone. I think we just push mid. We should just take this tower. I want to have ulti actually. Will you go for me? I wonder if I can just bait this. Dude, I'm just a Zerath then. Oh, I waste a ton. He should go for me now. Dude, come on, dude. I'm just a Zerath with Echoes and Imperial Mandate. Why are we so scared? I can almost ulti. I need him a little bit lower. Oh, he uses Shadow. Nice. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. And I work towards the Crystal Scepter. Let me just go top, take tier 1 top. Oh, 
Oh no, Echo got me. I almost got away. I wanted to use that blast plant. Why, why do you panic? You have one there. Oh my god, huge damage. Yeah, help help your boy out. Uh, kill the tower. You kill the tower, you got him. Nice. Oh, I think he doesn't have ulti. Nope. I feel like that was kind of poorly played, but it is what it is. I don't want to buy pink wards. Pink wards are overrated. Nice. Okay. Nice job. The double kill. We can play for dragon, I think. Maybe a head bot. Like to ulti Zeri. She's kind of hard to hit. I think her ghost is back up. Also, I just realized that their enemy support has a uh, Dark Harvest. Mm. Why is this guy just pushing? What? Let me just play for Dragon. Is my pink word is my that my pink word that's just been there this entire time? Nice, good job. Didn't proc my font of life because I can get a slower stun off. Huge damage though. I'm kinda thick. I need to help him with the. Uh... Wait, my mana regen's kind of nutty. <laughs> Just healing off the health. Nice. Oh, stop attacking me, little rat. I knew my own ADK was out to get me. I knew it. Alright, let us, uh... I need it back. Maybe I look top. Okay, my Urgot's now just doing well. I'm just casually take that real quick. Just real quick. I really shouldn't be like walk when you're like you're playing Zerath, you really don't want to be walk doing what I'm doing right here and just like walking through the jungle. Also, you don't want to be doing what this AD carry is doing, what this mid lane is doing, dude. Like they're gonna get caught. I'm just waiting for this mouth to get caught. I feel like he's gonna get caught first. Why is he bot? You should not be a bot by yourself. I feel like I have, that's how you just die and repeat. Oh, how is our... This guy was literally like 0 and 4 and now he's just like popping off. Not bad. Decent damage. This is boring. I want something exciting, and this ain't it. Oh wait, I fucked up. I'm dead. Dude, this is so boring. Like, everyone's just foot pushing, man. Can we, like, 4 or 1? Like, what's going on? Like... Alright, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let us just group, please. Alright, how much more do I need? I need like 600 more gold. Don't type, don't type, don't type, don't do it. Don't go to the dark side. Let me push mid. I'm almost level 11. I'm almost there. If I just save stun, I can just stun behind me and kill, probably kill Zed by myself. I'm a strong independent, uh, Zerath. Dead spot, echoes above us.
Nein. I got the stun. Heal for a bit. Nice. Big healing. Are we almost up to a thousand healing? Actually, it is a thousand healing. We include font. <laughs> this ward I'm way too barren. We have. Oh, nice. We have this. Sometimes I think the hardest thing is just getting like your team to group. Because the rest can't do anything unless you're grouped. Alright. We got the Rylas. I think the last item we're probably gonna go uh void stuff. It's gonna be our final item. Alright, every ability is gonna proc font the life. I don't need I don't need to land a W, I don't need to land an E. Bonus was... damage by 900. Holy. Yeah, we have Soul coming up in 40 seconds. Nice. I like that abilities don't proc uh, echoes. Like crazy with that damage though. Hmm, I'm gonna maybe ult it if I wanted to. Free, let's go. Alright, uh, it's our Renata, and we got Chemtexel. Nice, you and three and thirteen. Dude, the mana regen's insane. 14? I'll never run out of mana. Like, maybe you don't need to go Comet. I mean, Comet's nice for the like the early game damage. I slow them, Font of Life. Big healing. Ulti in 30. Nice, they're healing from it. Oh, and they napped him too. Huge. GG's. Oh, this is done. Doesn't matter. More healing. Alright, we ended off the game with over like over 2,000 healing as a Zera. Bonus damage is at 1,500. Definitely a fun build. Like, they are nerfing this item next patch, but it's definitely kind of a fun item to abuse early. Very unique playstyle. Like, let's check the damage charts to see how well we did. It's like I said, it's really fun that you can literally perma spam with this item. It's kind of dumb, like, how much mana regen you get from the two items. So, let's see. We did 21k damage. The Evelyn did do more damage than us, but, like, if you really look at our build, our build's about, like, kind of snowballing your 80 carries damage, realistically. But if you do enjoy these types of video, make sure you hit that like and comment down below a unique build or uh, another build you want me to try on Zerath. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.